Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from XZeroAutomation.com and this is part 5 of our Android App Automation with Robotium series. And in this part, we are going to discuss about writing our first Android native application. And before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 4 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. So, in this part, we are going to write our first native Android application. Remember, there are two types of Android application. One is the native and another one is hybrid. And we are going to first write the native application. Writing our first Android native application. So as I already told, please watch part four to get your environment ready for developing your Android applications. And you can also learn creating the same application which we are going to create in this video series from the link below. We have already discussed about that. And since we have already discussed about that, I'm going to use the same link available right here to develop our Android application. So let me first click this. So here, as you can see, there is an article on creating your first calculator application in Android. All right. And here you can see there are a lot of descriptions and how to do these things. And also we can see that the application which we are going to develop at the end is this, a calculator application. And also we have some of the codes for developing the applications. So we are going to use all of this code for our video right now so let me first create our project so this part i have split it into two one is first creating our android application project and the next part we are going to develop and work on the direct code itself right so in this part we'll create our project and we'll understand the project's folder structure in greater detail and the next part we'll discuss more about the code and its actual execution right so first creating the android project is open the eclipse and go to file new others and select the android folder and select the android application project hit next and this will bring you a new android application dialog and give the application name that you're going to develop i'm going to develop calculator application and as you can see my project name turns out to be calculator and the package name had automatically turned as com.example.calculator. This is fine because I'm going to develop a calculator application and this is going to be just an example for you guys. So example is still fine for me. If you want, you can always change this package name as well. And there are four options available. One is minimum required SDK, target SDK, compile with and theme, right? So the minimum required SDK for running my application is Freeo. That's what it is selected. But let this be, no problem. But the target SDK, it says Android L. But this Android L preview, I don't have in my SDK right now. As you can see already in my previous video, I have only API level 19 and 18 respectively. But I don't have Android API level 21. So if you try to select the SDK which you don't have in your Android SDK for Windows, surely that's going to throw you an error stating the particular resource is not available. So don't try to select an SDK which you don't already have in your SDK, right? So I'm going to select the Android SDK for KitKat, which I have already. And also the compile with, I'm going to select Android 4.4.4 great and I'm gonna hit next and it asks for creating an activity and also it create it will ask you for creating the project in workspace it's all fine hit next and launch your icon I don't have any more icon so give the default icon hit next and it's asking you to create an activity so what is activity in Android so everything in Android is called as activity. Every window that you see in Android is called as activities. So you can learn more about activity in, of course, in Google. And you can see there is an Android activity lifecycle. So how the activity is created. It's more like the web page or an Windows application window app. Similarly, in Android, we have something called as activity. So as a user navigates through 
out of and back to your app the activity instances in your app transition between different states in their life cycle right and you can read a lot more about activity so activity is the most core and basic stuff in android so it's more like a window or a web page in a web application just remember that so just minimize this and you can see it's creating for it's asking you to create a blank activity for right now so i'm going to select the blank activity and hit next and then it's asking us to give the activity name and the layout name so i'm going to leave this as a default and hit finish so this will create me our first android application in our eclipse project all right great so it has created some stuff for us and also there is an errors as you can see here that there is no resource found that matches uh, this guy because it's searching for 21 right so we are not set to 21 in our project that's why our project is at least not throwing any exceptions as of now right super and now this calculator applications as you can see it has a folder structure which is very neatly organized by android and eclipse itself so you don't have to worry about the folder structures because this folder structure is automatically organized for you but here the most important folder that we are going to focus on is the source folder where all your actual code behind for your activities are sitting so again what is activity activity is the real main window that you are seeing in your application if i double click this guy you can see there is a graphical layout where you can see your actual application hmm. what does it say this project contains java compilation errors and failed to render all right so it says that there is an android support dot v4 internal dot widget dot action bar overlay layout is not available because we don't have that particular instance of the android and you can see there is an error as well so if you just open this you can see in the resource folder there is a values 21 which we don't have so this style dot xml is not available and that is the reason for the error that we are getting even in this particular project so what we can do is we can just change the activity underscore main dot xml file a little bit to handle that particular style file that you can find it in this style dot xml file so let's not mess up all those things so the most important folder that we're going to discuss is the source this is what we are very much in concentrating on the main activity dot java is the code behind for this activity underscore main dot xml file and these values folder that's it right so this is the folder structure and also sometimes we'll be interested on this android manifest.xml file so we'll talk more about all these files in upcoming videos of this video series so in the next part of this video series we'll talk about writing code for this android application so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day